To many, he was a hero who gave them something they had never seen. Your inspiration continues to guide us toward our personal liberation. People who knew him, people who didn't, are here. They had to be here to celebrate his life. A life still making a worldwide impact. The Fury is back. Part man, part myth, part magic. Time Magazine named Bruce Lee one of the greatest heroes and icons of the 20th century. He shattered Asian stereotypes, popularized martial arts everywhere, and became the world's most popular action star. He may have had to beat up a few people along the way. Bruce was a brilliant martial artist, and so it's like painting with Picasso. You wouldn't miss the opportunity, even if Picasso beat you up a little. He may have thrown a few punches. This one night he was he was facing me like that, and, he, and there was, the crowd was over there, and he was watching, he was looking over there, and he this punch, and he missed and hit me, hit my wearing glasses, hit me in the eye, and just ripped out my glasses. Knocked me out, glass all over my eye, fell to the ground, and he said, you moved. <laughs> and I, I knew I didn't move, but I didn't tell him that, you know. Well, nobody's perfect. He was exactly the same person as you see on the screen. He was full of life, and he was, he was just a, a very dynamic person. It's what attracted everyone to him in real life. He was always a fighter. Born in San Francisco in 1940, Bruce was sickly as a baby. His family was poor, and growing up in Hong Kong, he fell in with street gangs. He found salvation in Kung Fu. Later, in Seattle, Bruce waited tables at Ruby Chow's restaurant, studied philosophy at the University of Washington, and took on his first Kung Fu students. One of them, his future wife, Linda. I had a Chinese girlfriend who was taking Kung Fu lessons from him. Mm -hmm. So I started to take Kung Fu lessons uh, in Chinatown in a basement with Bruce. And um, well, it wasn't long before I was more in love with the instructor than the lessons. Linda and Bruce were married and had two kids, Brandon and Shannon. After a move to LA, Bruce quickly leaped to stardom as Kato, sidekick to TV's Green Hornet. Stung by Hollywood execs who said audiences wouldn't accept a Chinese leading man, Lee headed to Hong Kong. There, a series of low-budget kung fu flicks made Bruce Lee an action star. Now it was time to conquer the world. Bruce Lee, champion of champions, is the explosive superstar of Enter the Dragon. Released in 1973, Enter the Dragon made Bruce Lee not only one of the world's greatest action stars, but an iconic figure for all time. Sadly, one person who would never see the movie was Bruce himself. Right before the film was released, he died from an allergic reaction to a painkiller. He was just 32 years old. These are the plans he made for his last day, July 20th, 1973. What other plans, what other dreams now were lost? I think, of course, he would always be a martial artist, but I think um, he would have tended more to the philosophical side. He was writing screenplays already that had more to do with philosophy than martial arts. Hundreds of fans turn out at the Seattle Art Museum to remember what he did accomplish. It's a three-day celebration of Bruce Lee on the 35th anniversary of his death and release of Enter the Dragon. They're here to see the film, fight at martial arts demonstrations, view rare photos, meet Lee's family, his friends, and schmooze with an Enter the Dragon co-star. At the core, Bruce was a genius. He was brilliant, charismatic, with this athleticism. Then you take that combination, and I say, wrap it into the kindness that he was, and funny, oh, I mean, you'd rather spend five minutes with Bruce Lee than two days with most people. They celebrate not just an action movie star. You, you watch him in his movies, you can feel the energy come out, like he's, he's, he's still around you. Some people have that where they can just make people, bring people up to a high level, and that's what he does. But an author, teacher, and philosopher. I think it's his philosophy of life and, and also martial arts that continue to keep an interest in him and, you know, and all the legacy that he's done for everyone else. A true renaissance man. He was very ahead of his time in a lot of the things that he did, whether it was martial arts, 
whether it was um, philosophy or fitness. Fans must have flipped when Bruce's daughter Shannon announced plans for a $50 million museum right here in Seattle to honor the martial arts hero. The Bruce Lee Action Museum, or BLAM. The idea of taking action, of putting uh, your putting action into your own lives to accomplish what you what you want for yourself, which I think is so much a part of the legacy of my father and, uh, and the reason why he's still remembered today. Shannon Lee hardly knew her father. He died when she was just four. This museum will be a lasting memorial to him. And it's easy to imagine Bruce Lee being right at home here with a meditation room, outdoor plazas, library, and movie theater. And there are others ready to keep Lee's legend alive. In the works, a 50-part Chinese series on his life, a massive theme park in China, a History Channel documentary, even a Broadway play to be directed by Tony Award-winning director Bartlett Sher. It's almost like Seattle's hometown hero never left. They're learning about all the different layers of Bruce Lee and find him an inspiration for their lives. We hear it every day in letters and people telling us how inspirational Bruce has been to their lives. On the last day of the celebration, people from around the world gather at Lakeview Cemetery to remember Bruce Lee. And there is another life to remember. 20 years after Bruce Lee's death, his son Brandon was accidentally killed on a film set. He was only 28. Now together, father and son rest. He taught that it's the journey that's important, it's not the destination. And Bruce lived his life like that. He enjoyed the journey every one of 32 years. Bruce Lee's journey was all too brief. 35 years later, they remember him, the man who defeated sickness, poverty, injury, and racism, whose physical virtuosity and explosive emotional power made him a martial arts superstar who jumped out of a screen at them and screamed, live, live life to the fullest. He gave them something they had never seen before, a hero they will never forget.